Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and of course this is a video to talk about um, the November 2019 update and how to prepare yourself for the arrival of this new update on Windows 10. Now I already see a lot of people not panicking but kind of saying oh no another update where maybe I could lose my files maybe this could happen and it's understandable uh, there's always uh, a sense of uh, being kind of powerless when it gets to Windows updates. Well, the good news is that the November 2019 update is much smaller in updates than any previous update. That means, technically, there should be less of a chance for you to have problems. For those that are scared of losing their files, and I saw somebody said, oh, I updated to the November and I lost my files again like last time. Uh, it's not that it's impossible, but I doubt that it did happen because this update is not like previous updates. And the updates where some people had lost some files at some point, they were really big updates. And what happened is they were reinstalls of Windows. So the files were actually sent to a uh, Windows.old folder while Windows installs itself. And then they would actually be sent back to the folder, the regular folders. And, uh, of course, because of some settings, sometimes those weren't actually being moved back. There was also uh, some possibilities of having files being accidentally erased, things like that, as they were, of course, shuffled around in the hard drive. And some of you did suffer from that type of problem in, um, I believe, was the... I'm trying to remember which version did that. But, uh, one of the versions, anyways, did that, and um, I think it was last year. Now, here, there's no shuffling around the area of files because this is simply updating the system itself. So there will be, of course, changes to the structure of Windows itself, but there's no need for your files to be sent to a Windows.old folder or things like that. So the chances of you losing your files are very slim in this update compared to, let's say, a bigger uh, update like 20H1 coming next year, for example. Still, what are my recommendations for you guys? What should you do? It's always the same. And, you know, you can prevent all of these problems by abiding to a certain number of rules. Unfortunately, a lot of the times when things go bad, there's, you know, a big chunk of the problem is due to the user itself. And one of them is, oh, I lost my files. Well, why didn't you have a backup? it always comes back. People have the impression or under the impression and I actually get um, people giving comments saying well I shouldn't have to back up my files. Yeah you do. That whatever system you have, whatever computer you have, it doesn't matter. It's it's a minimum that everybody should do. Back up your important files. That is and always been like that, will always be like that. The chances of losing your files do exist all the time. Not even just a Windows update. They exist, you know, because your hard drive might fail. They exist because your computer might have a big problem and you lose everything. You might, by accident, erase stuff. And by having backups, well, you know, peace of mind. It's not that it's funny. It's not that it's something you want to do. But at least you ain't going to lose important stuff. So backing up, of course, is the number one thing that you should always do. Two different places. A backup, unfortunately, is misunderstood for most people. They take the files, put them on the external hard drive, and they think it's a backup. A backup is not that. A backup is having the files in two places, at least two places at the same time. External hard drive and your PC. Cloud and your PC. Even better, cloud and your PC and an external hard drive. That's even better. So that's how you back up. If you move your files from one place to the other, if something happens at the other place, you're still screwed. You're going to have your files going to be lost. And for the rest, you know, kind of a cleanup. Look through the software you don't use anymore. Uninstall the programs you don't use anymore. The least amount of trash uh, on your PC, the better it will behave in an update. 
So many times I've seen problems like that happen because of software installed. And, you know, you might, and people will say, oh, well, you know, it's Windows. No, it's actually that software that screwed everything, not Windows. You'd be surprised at the amount of times when something goes wrong that one of the software you have installed is actually screwing everything up, not Windows. And, of course, make sure that you um, just maintain, you know, a minimum of, uh, of, of, of security on your PC, not downloading things that shouldn't be there, and uh, stay away from everything that is illegal software and stuff like that. It's always a danger. And you know what? Their chances of the November 2019 update going well are much higher than any other versions of Windows. Why? Because there's a simple thing here. It's the fact that the uh, update is really focused on bug fixes and that is good to hear. So uh, hopefully that promise will come through. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.